men rejecting women has led to massive population decline. Men rejecting women has led to massive population decline. You know, guys, I don't feel bad about any of this. I'm celebrating it because I don't care anymore, and neither should you. And I know most of you don't. The only ones that care are women and sims, even though women will say they don't care. They do. You know, it's it's intriguing, and, and they'll blame us for it. They'll say eventually they'll blame men for it because they'll first they'll say that women don't want to have kids either. And then as men are refusing to have children, walking away, and women begin to suffer and struggle as a result of it then they'll start blaming and attacking men and again men absolutely don't care a lot of you guys are walking around with backpacks a lot of you guys are driving beater cars or old luxury cars a lot of you guys are doing whatever you have to to ghost in plain daylight and keep these people away from you because you are not interested in relationships i mean so you, you already know what the drill is let's go ahead and jump into the video because i find this quite interesting some updates, updates from Japan. From Japan. Japan's, Japan's demographic, demographic crisis continues to worsen, with the number of baby births falling for the eighth straight year in the country. Government data, the latest one that has come out, now shows that there was again a significant decline in the number of births that have been recorded in the year 2023. Believe it, the number of births in the year 2023 have fallen by another 5.1% in comparison with 2022. And one of the reasons that is now being cited by the government, according to its records, is that there's also a drastic fall in the number of marriages that have been witnessed in Japan. 2023 saw less than 500,000 marriages. The first time in 90 years that the number has fallen so low. Out-of-wedlock births are very rare in Japan's extremely conservative society. And these figures paint an extremely worrying future for Japan. Japan's population will likely decline by about 30% by the year 2070, which will mean that four out of every 10 people in Japan will be above the age of 65. In the past, Prime Minister Fumio Kishida had called the trend as the gravest crisis that Japan presently faces. And the government has also said that the unprecedented steps are needed to now cope with the decline in the birth rate, expanding childcare, promoting wage hikes for younger workers and also social drives are now a part of the list. For context, this is how the birth graph looks like in Japan. We collated the data from the last 50 years. In 1984, for every 1,000 people, there were about 12.483 births. And that was cut to half this year with only 6.99 births for 1,000 people in the Japanese population. Beyond is now available in your country. Download now, I find this to be extremely interesting. I want you to think about the situation very carefully and what it actually means. So come 2070, I mean, guys, we're looking at what that what's that's less than 50 years from now, uh, what, 46 years? So in roughly 46 years, guys, think about this very, very carefully. Japan, well, four out of every 10 people in Japan, 40% Every if all the people in Japan will be above the age of 65, which means that 50% of Japan, a minimum of 50% of Japan, will all be old people. Old people. Think about this carefully. So roughly half of Japan's country, or more, in less than 50 years, will all be people. Who are collecting pension or will be collecting pension in a few years this is that's that's an impossible country to live in where half of your population is 60 years old or older half and this is what's happening in all of the world right now it's specifically in western society in countries like africa india you know asia the, they're developing countries they're not seeing population decline. But in Western countries like the United States, Germany, France, Germany has seen extremely low population. Germany has extremely low population right now. It is experiencing massive population decline. 
United States, massive population decline. Canada, massive population decline. And it's only getting worse. It's only getting worse, especially with AI, AI on the rise. You see, these estimates with Japan are based on current trends. So they're hoping that things won't go any lower. They're th Think about this carefully. They're basing this on statistics ba saying that, okay, so assuming that Japan's rates, which are terrible right now, hold at this level, then in, fi in 46 years, you know, half of Japan will all be old people. Guys, it's only going to get worse from here, especially with AI. AI and, and you know, love bots or whatever you want to call it. You need to understand that we're literally heading for, I forget what the name of that movie is, but uh, something like um, 2077. You guys know your Roadrunner, some, something like that, 2027, something like that. We're letting we're heading for a future where we're gonna have augmented reality girlfriends. You know, you put on a pair of augmented reality glasses, and you're gonna have your AI girlfriend right there. That should be laying in bed next to you, talking to you. You'll have conversations with her. Well, you don't want to speak to her, you'll turn her off. These are the relationships that men are going to have, and men are going to be very happy to to even pay a subscription plan. You know, to like, oh, you want to change your clothes, you don't want to you know, change her look, make her bigger, make her smaller, all of these things, guys will happily pay for these features. You'll have guys spending $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, some lunatics $50,000 a year on their AI girl. And it's it, that's how it's going to be. It's going to be very, it's going to be very affordable where even the poorest of men can have an AI girl. And Guys, and a lot there are guys along. You know, there are a lot of you guys. Some of you guys will go out and get one, and you'll say, you literally say, you will happily spend this money on an AI girl, and ever spend it on a modern woman. And it's the truth. There are many of you who have the option to go over to the Philippines and to developing countries and find a you know woman who is fit, feminine, and friendly. And many of you have no desire at all. You don't, you know, uh, Air, Airhead, I think that's his name, Airhead, you know, the Marine guy, he, he says that he doesn't have any desire. He just doesn't have to, maybe he'll change, but he just doesn't have the desire to get up and go out and do it and go find a woman, even though he has the finances and the resources. After these men have been through so much, after they've been through these relationships, they just can't do it anymore. They're tired. They're tired and they just can't do it anymore. They can't play that game anymore. That's the reality that we are that we're currently in as men. And it's you know, men hold up society. Men have built society, men hold society together. And it, you can see the see see the reality of it. What happens when women are put in charge and women are given power? So what if I love a robot? It's not hurting anybody. My God, he never took middle school hygiene. He never saw the propaganda film. It's just lucky I keep a copy in the VCR at all times. Ordinary human dating. It's enjoyable and it serves an important purpose. But when a human dates an artificial mate, there is no purpose, only enjoyment. And that leads to tragedy. Neato, a Marilyn Monroe bot. Ooh, you're a real dreamboat. Billy Everything. Harmless fun? Let's see what happens next. Mm. Mm. Billy, do you want to walk your dog? No thanks, Mom. I'd rather make out with my Monroe bot. <laughs> Billy, do you want to get a paper route and earn some extra cash? No thanks, Dad. I'd rather make out with my Monroe bot. Mm. Billy, do you want to come over tonight? We can make out together. Gee, Mavis, your house is across the street. That's an awfully long way to go for making out. Did you notice what went wrong in that scene? Ordinarily, Billy would work hard to make money with his paper route. Then he'd use the money to buy dinner for Mavis, thus earning a slim chance to perform the reproductive act. 
But in a world where teens can date robots, why should he bother? Why should anyone bother? Let's take a look at Billy's Planet a year later. Where are all the football stars? And where are the biochemists? They're trapped, trapped in the soft, vice-like grip of robot lips. All civilization was just an effort to impress the opposite sex. And sometimes the same sex. Now, let's skip forward 80 years into the future. Where's Billy? <laughs> Farewell! The next day, Billy's planet was destroyed by aliens. Have you guessed the name of Billy's planet? It was Earth! Don't date robots! Now, guys, you know, I constantly like to highlight that Billy lived a damn good life. Look how happy Billy is before he passes away. Look at that big smile on his face. Now, they fast forward 80 years later. Billy, based on, you know, just estimations, he looked like he was around 15 or 16 years old. Let's say Billy was 15 when all of this started. Fast forward 80 years, that would make Billy 95 years old. So Billy lived to the ripe old age of 95, take into consideration that this actually took place not too far from now. So the world ended up collapsing somewhere like uh, right around this time. So maybe uh, we'll give or take 100 years or so. If One of the reasons why, and I suspect if you look through the video, it, they're trying to, you know, it looks like like they're, it takes place like kind of like in the, uh, like in the 50s or the 60s, like Billy's dressed like the 50s or the 60s, it's because a lot of information was lost. So the people who created the propaganda film in the future, they're trying to, and even like, for example, you see them using like, an, like a very old computer from the 80s. Keep in mind, Futurama was actually made right around like the year 2000. The reason why is because they don't even know how to place the technology because so much was lost as a result of the world being destroyed, you know, from the aliens. Guys, some people, some of you have actually pointed out that did the aliens actually destroy the world or did they actually come to clean the garbage up? Because if you look at the state that the world was in, guys, look at this. Look at, look, look at, look at this. Like, I, you have to wonder, did the aliens really, the aliens didn't destroy the world, y'all. This is the condition that it was in. This stuff had to be torn down. Society was a complete and utter wreck. If y'all haven't realized it yet, the aliens saved the world. How did they save the world? There was nothing left. They were dating robots. Humanity had given up on itself. And if humanity has nothing to fight for, then humanity will stop fighting. Men had nothing left to fight for. This is the results of this is the results of feminism. So the aliens actually saved the world by tearing this down. They absolutely did. And just to be clear, there another thing, uh, they also did, come, like, you know, they tried to, re humanity tried to rebuild and then the aliens came back a second time and then they tore that down again. Although what's interesting is that after they tore things down a second time, they didn't abandon humanity. They actually helped rebuild humanity and brought advanced technology to the planet. And we still, and then we ended up with our with, with a normal system of government. So, the, were the aliens actually trying to destroy humanity? If the aliens were trying to destroy humanity, then why would they rebuild humanity better and stronger than before? I mean, just look at this carefully. Men rejecting women has led to massive population decline, and this is the result of women choosing to, you know, adopt feminism and men saying, "Yeah, enough is enough. We don't care, and we are walking away." From this nonsense, we're walking away, we're running away, and we're not going to tolerate it. You know, can't stop, won't stop. We will not be a part of this. We don't want this garbage. You know, and, I, and like I've said this already, I've said it plenty of times, women chose this for themselves. They chose feminism. They chose this life. They chose it, and now they have, and now they have to basically accept it and live with it. Let me know what you guys think regarding all of this. Men rejecting women has led to massive population decline. Let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.